Hi everyone, Ainsworth Edmund here and welcome again to the Project 1000 Movement Show. And tonight I have a exciting, inspiring show for you. Now, if you are coming across my Facebook and if you're seeing this on you, uh, my name is Ainsworth Edmund. I am the founder of the Project 1000 Movement. And uh, the Project 1000 Movement is all about helping as many individuals earn their first 1000 US dollars online and subsequently enabling them to earn a minimum of 1,000 US dollars per month. Now, tonight's show is not going to be diving into that because the Project 1,000 Movement show is where I come, I share with you, you know, how your mindset, I, I will be talking about how the different opportunities, all these wonderful things. But tonight... I have, you know, someone that is an inspiration to me, and I know that he's going to be an inspiration to to many of you, right? So uh, tonight I have my good friend, you know, Granville Carter out of Barbados. You know, I met Granville about three years now, and he has become a close friend. You know, I, I really look up to him. The very first time I heard him speak, I said, whoa, I have to be, you know, get to know him a little bit more. He's a father. He is an uh, inspiration. <laughs> He's unstoppable, you know, and I, I want to go in so much more, but I'm just going to allow Granville to introduce himself and then, you know, we take it from there. Over to you, Gwenzel. Yes, I want to say a pleasant good night to you, Ainsworth, and to all of those of you who would be listening or seeing this session tonight. As Ainsworth would have said that my name is Granville Carter. I am out of Barbados, and uh, I am a totally blind person. Many people feel that because uh, you may have a disability, that that is the end of the world. But we have a slogan that we dwell on regularly, which says, there is life after blindness. And life after blindness simply means that even though you are blind, you are still able and capable of performing many tasks. So for us, the sky is the limit. So basically <laughs> for me as a, a, a blind person, I tell people that the only thing that I don't do is to see. <laughs> Sounds strange, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> so, which means that I can do almost everything. Um, I can even do more than some persons who have all the, the, the full visual faculties and everything. I can use the computer. I use my smartphone. Um, I, I do every chore around the house. I cook, I wash, I bake, you name it. And so basically that's the first part of the life that I live as a blind person. All right. Um, and, and 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 while this is happening live, Granville, this is true in you. You are moving around your house to go and answer the phone. So yes, go ahead and answer it. <laughs> I refuse to answer. It. Right, so you're seeing, you're seeing him moving around his house, um, you know, trying to find the phone. Uh, you, you, you found it? Are you just? I'm not. It? I'm not. I'm not trying to find it. I know where it is. <laughs> 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 yeah well, well 
<laughs> yeah, you know, because, you know, um, for persons who are coming on, you know, just know, you know, we, I was talking to Granville before we, we, we started, we, we went live. And, you know, I, I called Granville and it was pitch dark and I couldn't see him. I said, Granville, turn on the light. And then I just <laughs> answer the phone, you know, if the, and the, story, the, yard, the person you are not called. Hello. Yeah. Okay, I, I can't talk right now you're on a, on a call here. Okay, all right. Talk back to me later, though, in the next half an hour or so. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Grandpa. All right, so... Mm -hmm. I was, I was saying, you know, I was just there talking to you and, and it, it, it was dark. And I said, turn on the light and I just see you just click on the light. And I said, you know, I, I don't have on the shirt and you just move so it's just flawlessly around the house. I'm like, whoa, you know, Granville, I'm saying, you know, this is amazing. This is the very first time. All right. So how I met Granville, I'm going to tell you my part, you know, um, I was in a uh, business back uh, online business in 2020 and i was on this call and granville came and was sharing his testimony of his journey so far with that platform and when he came on and said to you know on the call that i am a total blind person i was just blown away i said to myself that i have to get to know him a bit more and so I reached out to Granville and we have become friends ever since, you know, because I'm saying during that time, there were so many persons who are saying they can't do what, you know, they can't do anything on the phone. They don't know how to do this. They don't know how to do that. And then when I heard that Granville being, you know, totally blind and was still able to do, do it and, and he did not allow his, you know, his disability to stop him. You know, as he said earlier, you know, the only thing that he cannot do as a as as a blind person is see. And <laughs> I am a testimony on so many different occasions, you know, um what he has done. Now, Grandfather, we're gonna step in, you know, um a little bit about your family. You know, okay. one of the things that I was even impressed about was you know, you as a blind person takes care of your mom <laughs> at home. You know? yes. And when you told me that, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, I, I have two sons of my own, one 27 and the next 33. Um, the one 20. 27 has just migrated to to London and his wife and the next one is here with his mom and I just live next door I hardly see my own home because I spend most of my time looking after my mom she's 90 years old and she was not so well so of all the other siblings I am the main one who, who look after her, who ensure that she gets a bath every day, who ensure that she gets food every day, breakfast, supper, she gets a bath. I look after her washing, every everything you can think about. So people ask me how I manage. Um, only in recent times when she took sick, it, I thought that it would have been so difficult that I could not handle it. But it worked out so well. And I do a fantastic job. Um, only recently, um, she has gone to stay with my sister so as to give me an ease. Because, you know, being a caregiver for someone, something, it can become very stressful, especially someone who has a dementia and suffer with a heart and things of that nature. But nevertheless, I said to myself, she is my mom and I don't want to put her into any institution. I prefer to 
take care of her as long as I am able to do it. If it happens that things get worse and I can't, then I'll take a different route. But for now, that's it. Yeah, all right. So, you know, um, that's awesome. Taking care of your mother, you know, 90 year old, um, cooking, bathing. You know, when when we were speaking and um, you told me that, you know, when she had the heart attack and you were there, you know, during that time, you know, praying for you and praying for her, you know, I, I, I really was saying to myself, you know, you are just so amazing. You know, you are inspiration, um, Granville. Yeah. But outside of, outside of, you know, that, you also... You are, you know, you know, one at a time. I don't know if you still do it, but I remember when back in 2020, I was when I when I called one at a time, you you operate a shop or a, a business well, like a store. You still yes, do that? I I had a small shop. Um, but when COVID stepped in, um it things started to get a little difficult because at that point in time everybody had to go home, couldn't work, and and then people to get ends meet. People put on little shops on their home, and that cut the sales dramatically. So, <laughs> I eventually i i had to, i gave it up. Um, okay. But bes beside that, I um, went to the center for the blind, where I worked for over about thirty years, and I was involved in what you call the cane and rushing of chairs. Um, so that still brings in an income for me at this stage. Um, besides that, there are so many other things that I do that makes my life so rewarding. Um, I do things that I am involved in sports. I play, you're breaking um, up. You're breaking up, girl. I'm wondering if it is just my side or where you are. You, you, you're you're in the house. You're hearing me now. You're breaking. Up. Um, you're you're hearing me. Yes, I'm Hello? hearing you now. Okay. Yes, right. I'm hearing you now. Right. So I was basically saying that. Um, I'm involved in so many things. I, in sporting activities, I play a sport called goalball. That is a sport that blind people are engaged in. Also, I played mm -hmm. blind cricket. I was able to travel to <clears throat> many of the Caribbean islands like Jamaica. Many times I went to Jamaica, Trinidad, mm -hmm. the Guyana, the St. Lucia. Um, <laughs> Dominica <laughs> and I, I went I also went as far as India on the West Indies thing. <laughs> India? And, um, yes. <laughs> and um, so you, you you not only played for Barbados, but you also played yeah, so um, the for the West Indies um blind cricket team. Cricket team. Yes. Okay, awesome, awesome. <laughs> and, and then as I said, I am involved in a, a number of organizations for people with disabilities, like the National United Society of the Blind. I have only just recently, um, I'm a board member of the Barbados Association for the Blind and Deaf. I'm also a board member of the uh, uh, one of our secondary schools here in Barbados. Um, so I, I, I sit on committees. I, I basically do a, a lot of work. So all, I say all of that to say this, is that the sky again is the limit. So there isn't anything that I am probably incapable of doing. As I said, I can, I do more than some people. But, but, but Granville, I'm going to cut you, I'm going to cut you in a bit. 
Um, yeah. You talk about all the different boards that you are a part of, but I remember, I think it was last year, you know, I called you, you said that you were so busy on the campaign, so you're also involved in <laughs> politics. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I met, I met the, the now Mayor Amor Motley, who is the Prime Minister of Barbados. I met her when she was um, a, probably the leader of the opposition. Mm -hmm. And so that shows you, and she has become my personal friend. So that shows yeah. you how far I have gone. Um, the, the minister in my constituency has become my very, very close friend. And he was not, or is not ashamed to move around with me as a totally blind person. He mm -hmm. takes me, he takes me everywhere he goes. And and doesn't feel shy or shame or he, in other words, he treats me so well. So, and I um, was always on the campaign trail with him, traveling to my constituency, out of my constituency, um, knocking on doors, talking to people, gleaming votes for him and all such like, so I'm, I'm heavily involved. <laughs> but um, I'm also looking behind you. I see a trophy. And I remember just a few weeks ago, you, 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 we were talking. And I said, you know, I'm going to, and I was so still amazed. You said, I'm going to collect a award for, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <some fun. laughs> and the crap over. And I'm like, what, what is that you don't do, Granville? You know? I... <laughs> Tell me about that. Tell me about okay. you know your your music. So right. not only are you you know into you know activities in so many different boards right. and all of I those should, things. Right. I should not forget my maker. Um, he plays an integral part in my life. Right. Um, I have a very strong back. Wrong in as a Christian. Mm -hmm. And so, and I love to sing. Um, I provide my church with music every Sunday morning. I play the guitar. Okay. Um, and I sing very well in church and out of church. Yeah. Uh, so basically, as Ainsworth would have said, behind me, is a number of trophies. Trophies for um, blind cricket, trophies for six years um, consecutively, then in the National United Society of the Blind um, Calypso competition. Mm -hmm. And I also sing in one of our, our main Calypso tents here in Barbados called the House of Soka. So this year, I received an award for the song that was written, was co-written by another guy and myself called Accessibility. Yeah. And <clears throat> so, and that song was classified as the best socially uplifting song for the year 2023. So awesome. I feel very, very, very proud about that. Yes. So. <laughs> And I can go on and go on and go on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Granville, I said, you know, one of the things that I was thinking about this afternoon that we bet we met through network marketing, you know, online yes. investments. And some of the times we think about the money that you are able to earn. Because when I talk, as I talk about the Project Quantos movement and mm -hmm. I talk about, you know, the whole aim. If you're like, if you're watching, please like, comment, share. You know, this is a video I, I, I tell you that you're coming across. This is an inspiration to me, you know, 
as I said, the very first time I heard Granville speak, I said to myself, I have to get to know him. And we have been friends ever since. Now, as I was saying, that network marketing and online marketing has not only allowed me to earn, but there's the relationships that you build True. that are priceless, you know, because a relationship with, you know, myself and you, we are in two different countries. Yes, we are in the Caribbean, which is not far apart, and Barbados is somewhere I am intending that I want to travel to. But, you know, it, it, this true technology and true network marketing, we have become so close of friends. So True. tell me about, you know, what this online space is to you and why you would encourage persons to, you know, get involved. Right. Okay. Now, I am holding an iPhone in my hand. And we know nowadays everything has become everything has become very smart. Mm -hmm. We have the smartphones and we have the smart televisions and we have smart this and smart that and smart next and smart the third. <laughs> 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 and some people use their technology to post foolishness online to take pictures of people when they get into accidents and die and they post a lot and do a lot of negative things with with their phones True. but because that i am a smart person and because that my phone is a smartphone i utilize it to do smart things for me too <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to take that one because i am a smart person and i have a smartphone I use it to do smart things and make money for myself. Good exactly. one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Granville, I, I remember you saying this. I remember when we we met that, you know, you said, you always said to us, you're going to earn, then learn. Learn. You know, so exactly. many persons, you, you, you always said that back in 2020, you know, you, you, there are many persons say, I don't know how to do this. And you, you, you always come and said, I what thing I'm doing is I'm earning and, and I'm learning. Learning, right? Yes. So you, 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 right, you may not be able to to learn everything about what you are doing at the same time. So I believe that why should I sit down for three months to learn about this program while I can earn while I learn? Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And. And you know, I've gotten involved in many online programs. Some of them work and you earn money from them and then the wicked people run away with your money. <laughs> but I I always tell people that you will not win all and neither yes. will you lose all. Exactly. And I sometimes you may tell yourself why bother your head with getting involved with online businesses? Because something you don't know the people, and as I say, they run away with your money. But mm -hmm. I've lost a lot of money in online programs, but I've made a lot of money too. Exactly. And I, and I always tell myself that if I to dwell on the negative side of it, I would never earn a cent. So even up to this stage, I know I'm involved in the newest program mm -hmm. of my life, an online program. You can imagine that you actually getting paid for walking, for stepping, for running, for jumping, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Granville. Um, it was not last night, but the night before. I I went through my top five, you know, paying program, and I mentioned Smart Step. That is the yeah. one that you're speaking about. Exactly. Oh, Smart that steps. Yeah, 
I it's have, a fan. it is something that I, it is something that I'm definitely getting involved in because I started to, I used to think that I was walking a lot, you know, and then when I recognized that I wasn't doing anything because a thousand steps is so little, you know, um, I wanted to do 10,000 in a day and then I, it was so hard trying to get to 10,000 because, you know, you know, you, you are just the time. But I'm going to give you a little, a little, you see, I will tell you the, the, you, the smartphone does smart things, yes. right? And mm -hmm. the day that you can't, you're not able to walk, you can just sit with your phone, right? And you can do the phone like this, mm. back, forth, back, forth, and it records it. You, yeah, man, you I, I, I got that one. You tried No, I, I tried it. I know. <laughs> no, man, I, I, I knew. I, I found it out. I found that one out. But <laughs> right. I, I'm trying to get persons to do the exercise part of it. Exactly. Not, not that part. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got that part. I got that part doing. But, but I've trust got that me. Part going to um, I am so excited about this Smart Steps program. Right? Because mm -hmm. you're walking, you're running, you're jogging, you're jumping, and you're getting paid for all of those steps in the form of a, of a token called the Balti X, mm -hmm. right? Um, yes. it's, a, it's fantastic, trust me. If you're listening uh, to my voice, yeah, I, I I know I know it is something that you introduced me to, and this is what I want persons who are even at this end, you know, coming across. Granville is not just waiting on someone to lead; he's a leader, and in spite of everything, because you know, and this is the reason because of him, I am a part of that, you know, smart steps because he has been passionate about it and I and he keep on saying to me, Ainsworth, look at this. Come to the webinars, learn. When you understand this, you are going to love it. You know, that, that's what he said. When you when you understand that the power of it. And as I'm saying, the, the whole idea that is that you are getting healthier. You are getting healthier, but also your pocket is going to get healthier, which is exactly. which is also a plus. And um True. you know I, Granville, we are almost um, half an hour in. I will definitely have to get you back for another time, and no we will be, we will be, you know, because what, I, as I said, this Project One Thousand Movement show that I am having is 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 a way of me not only just talking about the business, the online business, but showing persons, real persons, you know, that the journey, right? Yeah. I don't. What what, what I recognize is that. We see some persons only when they're successful, and we, 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 when they have, they have gone through all of this, this, this part of it, and they weren't out there, they weren't doing anything. Persons seeing them before they, they make it big, and so they come when they, are, they have worked hard and they have put in the work, but nobody sees that. They only see the flashiness, and then persons just believe sure. that everybody that gets into the game or get involved will. If you don't make it flashy, you you are doing something wrong. No, True. it's a journey, right? What exactly. I am doing is I'm showing you the journey from the beginning, right? I have put in work from 2014. I didn't get my breakthrough starting 2019 to 2020, right? So I actually put in four to five years of nobody seeing me, nobody hearing about me, and then... In one year, I blew to <laughs> um, levels that I, I, I wasn't even thinking about. When I tell persons that through that company that we met, I earned over a hundred thousand US dollars okay. in less than six months. But right. I did not get to withdraw all of that. But that's the, the the type of income that the network marketing space can afford you, mm -hmm. right? And, and with what we are having right now with the whole, I would say, evolution, revolution of cryptocurrency 
that is happening right now. I tell persons, we are at the point of the greatest wealth transfer that will ever take place. Some of us who are here, you know, it's the one time that you're able to get involved in something before the wealth of the world is involved in it, right? This is an opportunity for the average person. You don't have to be um, bright. You don't have to have a degree. You don't have to have a doctorate. You don't have to have a master's. You just have to have a smart, you know, first, you have to be smart, having mm -hmm. a smartphone, and then and using it. Those smart things for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm taking that one, Granville. You have to be smart. You know, I have a smartphone and let it do smart things smart for things you. Smart things for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Granville, as I'm saying, uh, it's a privilege. It's, it is something that I am really, I will be definitely having you on. I, what I want to do, as I said, this is a movement. This is something I tell persons is that when, when I speak about what I want to do here in Jamaica, and you know my passion for Jamaica, you know my passion for the Caribbean, yeah. right? You know, you, 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 know for you and I have had many conversations about this Project 1000. True. And so sometimes when I talk about Jamaica, what I want to do here in Jamaica, you know, persons, I, I don't want persons who are coming on to think that I, I, it's only Jamaica because my goal is the Caribbean and even the wider world. But I'm saying I want to do something special here. To, one of my goal is to make persons who are here in Jamaica and the Caribbean understand you don't have to fly to the U.S. Um, exactly. to make it, right? You don't AI have to. AI is doing it. AI is doing it. A, right. And so it is our opportunity in this time to make a difference and um it, it, it the economy of the world and especially here in our third world countries like you in barbados like myself here in jamaica like many other you know third world countries this is an opportunity that we have but what is happening is that a lot of us do not have the education and do not don't have the knowledge of what is happening and so because of that then we we are not we, we, we're just not going out and we're not seeing it but thank you again granville for your time and i will be definitely as i said we'll be coming on again this is the first um but not necessarily the last time you know that we'll be holding you know parks like this you know i yeah. know when you're not busy what i'll be doing because what i have a an existing community you know some of the times we're just going to gather on our call and let's talk about different things you know, um, you know what we what I'm building is something that is bigger than me. The Project right. One Talks movement I wanted to outlive me because it's about um, financial freedom. Phase one is just getting persons to actually believe that it is possible by earning their first one thousand US dollars online, subsequently earning a thousand US dollars one. But that is not the end all. That is just the beginning of what we want to do. And um, I want to really thank you for your time. I hope that those who are watching you were inspired you know by granville's story and you know how he is unstoppable not because of his disability but there's nothing that he cannot do except see and so i'm going to give granville the final words as we part tonight well thank you very much Ainsworth. it has been my pleasure being here and to tell you about my story and to tell the world about my story. I, as I said tonight, don't, you don't spend, you, you, you spend your money to purchase expensive smartphones. Don't do foolishness with it. Or don't do foolishness with this, this smartphone. This phone is smart and you are more intelligent than the phones, than the technology. The technology can only do what we want them to do. So if you have a smartphone and you are a smart person, let your smartphone do smart things for you. Thank you very much, Ainsworth. All right, and, and have a wonderful one. night. Same to you. Yeah.